In this tutorial for 411 Fit Coaching Edition for Health Professionals, I will be going over using and building your recipe library. To access the recipe library, go to the library drop down at the top of the page. Your recipe library is a great place to build and share recipes with your clients to help them better reach the goals that you've set for them in the system. You can educate them with their food choices and ways to better prepare their meals. You'll want to build your library so that you can share library items with your clients. First, start by clicking on Add New Recipe. The recipe builder will appear. You'll want to start with some basics, giving the recipe a name and selecting a course for that recipe. Be as specific as possible to help when searching for the recipe later. Next, you'll want to add ingredients to your recipe. When I click on Add Ingredient, the food search engine will appear, looking much similar to the food search engine for your food and meal library. When I enter in a food, I will get both a history and suggestions. The history is the last time that I searched for that food. This is what I was looking for. The suggestions look at my search habits to help me better find the foods that I'm searching for. Remember that if I cannot find this in the history or suggestions, I will simply click the search button to the right. Let's say the apple's raw with skin was what I was looking for. All of the foods that meet that designation will show up. The same rules apply with this food search as in your other food searches. The star designation to the far left tells you if this is a 411 Fit approved library entry, meaning that we have verified the food for accuracy. Next, the information icon gives you the detailed information on the food so that you can determine if this is indeed the food you want to use for this recipe. If it is, you will click on Add to Recipe at the far right. Next, you will need to say how many servings you want of this food in the recipe. Then click Add. This has now been added to this recipe. Next, you have the Quick Pick. The Quick Pick looks at recipes that you've added in the past and allows you to take foods from those recipes. This is a quick way to build recipes from other recipes that you have built in the past. I will simply scroll over the food and click on Add to Recipe. Next, I can always copy a, a recipe. Any recipes that I have built, I can copy and paste into other recipes. Again, making it quick and easy if I have similar things that I'm trying to create. When I click on Copy Recipe, all the foods in that recipe will now be in this one. Remember, too, that you have the Enter Nutrition Label option. If you cannot find the food you are looking for in our search terms, you can always enter your own. Remember that we have nearly a half a million food entries for you to choose from. Once I have determined that these are the ingredients in my recipe, I want to give more details on the recipe itself. Do you remember if I need to make changes, I can always edit or delete any of the items in my recipe. When I click on the Edit button, I can change all the information about that food, title, serving size, and nutritional information. As I scroll down, the additional details I will want to add is the serving size of the recipe, the number of servings, prep time, cook time, and instructions for my client. This helps them understand how to prepare the recipe that I've just built. Once I am complete with this, I can save this recipe to my library. If I go back to my recipe list, there are a few things to note. First, once I have a recipe in my recipe library, I can share with my client by clicking to the far left on the Share Client icon. Here when I click on this icon, I will be able to share with all or some of my clients. Notice here that I've already shared this library entry with Michael, and it designates that I have done so. If I'd like to share with another client, I will simply click on that client, click on the Send Client email notification if I'd like to, and hit Share. Notice the information icon also to the left. This gives me full information on the recipe for my reference. Finally, I can always edit and delete the recipe from this main library. When I click on the edit button, I will get right back to my recipe builder where I can make any changes as needed. Note at the top your recipe filter. As you start to build your library, this will come in handy in terms of searching for recipes that you want to share with your clients. 
Remember, the more specific you are with the search, the better the filter will find the items you're looking for. Remember, too, then to be specific with the names of the recipes that you are building. This concludes the tutorial for the Recipe Library for 411 Fit Coaching Edition for Health Professionals.